What's up YouTube, this is Peyton here with Brown Aquatics and today I'm bringing you a little DIY and it's going to be a pretty quick video. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe for future videos like this and leave a comment down below with your suggestions for future videos. Alright, let's get started. So, here I have filter pad material and this is just what I got from like my local PetSmart and it was like six bucks I think and it's like a big sheet and I'm going to open it up here. And this is what it looks like out of the package. So really what we ended up getting is, in general, I mean, the thing is like this, maybe like this at max. So we got like one, two, three, four, five, five or six. So 10 or 12 pieces of filter material. And you can do one or two in each uh, filter that you have, which I'll be switching all my filters to this, hopefully, as long as it fits. But here's how we're going to do this. So we're going to take... Oh, here's the other side if you want to see that. It's a different shade. I mean, here it is from the side. So it's pretty much, it is pretty much just the same thing that you buy filter pads with, except a whole lot cheaper. Requires a little extra work. So what we're going to do is we're just going to take it off. As you can see, that needs to be changed. So I'm going to measure that and cut a piece that looks like it would fit. All right, guys, what I've done here, which I'm going to attempt to do one-handed, is I've just kind of shown it, you know, what it would look like if it were in the filter, and then I've put a little incision right here to the, the, the width of my filter pad, and then you just kind of want to take a look behind, and I'm going to go, let's see, let's go. So I've gone up about this far, that seems about right, so I mean halfway for a bigger filter, and I'm going to show you guys on the smaller filters, and yeah, so I'm going to finish this one off. Alright, so we ended up with something that looks like this, not perfect, but I mean it's not supposed to be perfect, it's not a filter, it's just filter material. So I'm going to show you guys this, and what this does is it eliminates you having to buy tons of different filter pads. As you can see, I kind of got my bio wheel spinning. If you've been watching my later videos, you know that that's been a struggle for me. So I'm going to get a bucket for the older filter cartridges. Okay, so I moved all the filter material from the thing into the bucket there. And I'm simply going to take this new piece of material. I'm going to slide it in where the cartridge would be. And boom. Just like that. So that's a filter pad. I'm going to cut the same amount and do two layers. This is not necessary, but... I would recommend it for optimal filtration. Okay, so this is what I got. Again, not perfect, but uh, I really just finished the cut from before. So we're gonna take this, and we're just gonna simply slide this one over a little bit. And we're gonna stick this new one in there, if I can manage this one-handed. Okay, so this is great. Sorry I had to use both my hands for that, but. As you can see, that's touching my bio wheel a little bit, so it's not spinning. I'm not quite sure why it's fizzing. I'll, I'll fix it after the video, but yeah. So basically, you have two super protective uh, bacterial layers, and what you're going to want to do is instead of going and buying this new every time, what you can simply do is you can take the filter piece out, take it over your sinks, pretend this is your sink, and you squeegee it out, and you run it with some water over it, and keep squeezing it, and you'll end up with all the gunk in the sink instead of in your filter pad and then you just come and reuse it and then don't try to get it perfect though because you want to have some bacterial uh, bacteria in your tank still so I would not suggest removing all of the gunk off the pad but try to get most of it and these are just some filter pads that I have for my old canister filter and I'm kind of just gonna sorry about that makeshift another layer of protection here like I was doing before because I ran out of pads See, so yeah, I, I, I don't want the overflow going because it's so loud when I'm sleeping. So I try really hard not to get that. But that looks like it's going pretty good. A little to no overflow. A little bit of dripping, but yeah. Okay, so let's go try it in the shrimp. Okay, guys, so we're over here at what I just called the shrimp tank, but obviously it's not the shrimp tank anymore. But uh, we're just going to try this exact same method with the... the uh, shrimp filter and yeah so I'm just gonna take the piece again and I realize that my tanks are all really really filthy I'm literally cleaning them as soon as I'm done with this video but I kinda wanted to get this done first because normally I put in filter pads before I do gravel vacuuming just so that anything I kick up and I don't end up getting goes straight into the thing 
So then I'm just gonna t go like this, and that's how I measure it, you guys, and then just kind of eyeball it from there. So this actually, surprisingly, is about the same size gauge as the the Marineland Penguin, but uh, yeah, so I kind of measured it out. And I, you just use a normal kitchen scissors, you don't have to use any special scissors, so everyone should be able to do this. And yeah, so I'm gonna make this final cut. Final cut complete, so this is what we ended up with. And so I'm going to just get the bucket and I'm going to toss that filter out and I'm going to put this one right in there and that looks like it's going to be a perfect fit. And I'll show you what it looks like after. So this is a perfect example of what a your guys' inside of your filters might be constructed like. So not everyone's going to have the marine land where you can simply just pull out the cartridge and put in a new slot. There's obviously going to be things like this. So this I'm actually just going to be putting in my cupboard and will be used for a later time. And this I'm still going to try and use, but if there's not enough space, maybe I won't. I'm just going to kind of like shove it back there. Okay. And now we're going to take this piece of foam. Excuse that. And we're just going to see if we can manage to do that a bit one-handed this time. And simply just going to kind of shove her down in there. All right. Looks pretty good, and we were able to keep that sponge in there too. So yeah, that's the just of it, guys. We're, we'll go try it on one more tank, but I think you guys are kind of getting the concept. I've also seen very creative YouTubers go to the next step and order little mesh bags about the size of your hand, or maybe a little bit bigger, off of Amazon, and they will fill it with filter material like you've seen those balls, I'm sure, or other things like that. And they'll stick that underneath the foam and then do foam. I mean, I don't really understand what that does or how that helps your uh, system. But, yeah, there's also that. And I'm sure you can go and find many different things like that on YouTube around. So let's go try in the last tank, and then I'll see you guys later. Look at this thriving aquarium, you guys. I'm so happy with these bushy plants. It's going to provide awesome cover. And my partner just got the okay from his parents to go ahead and set up a guppy tank so all these guys will have an awesome brand new home coming up this next weekend. Obviously the video won't be released the weekend of it because I'm way behind on videos, but that's not the point of this video. So let's get to the point, which is cutting filter pad for this part. So just like every other time, we're gonna go and we're gonna size our foam to it and we're gonna cut it down. So just get a good idea. So I've gone ahead and saved you guys all the time watching this fourth time, but as you can see, this looks like it should fit perfectly. I guess that wasn't the best visual aid, but yeah. So we're going to pull that filter cartridge in there that's nasty and slimy and I haven't changed in two weeks, and we're going to put this new sponge in there. Old expensive cartridge out, and new cheap super productive foam is in. So there's that, and if we just go like this. And snap this right back on there, and voila. And you kind of get a nice little blue color in there too, which is kind of neat. Opposed to sleeing a slimy filter. So that is about it for today's video, guys. Uh, hope this helped you guys all out and saved y'all a little money. Uh, I look forward to seeing you in future videos. Like I said before, please like and subscribe for more videos like this. And I will see you guys soon. Thanks.